Yeah, look at that. That makes a perfect coaster. Nice. Yeah, I have a neck beard now. Do you honestly think I'm starting to look like Walcom? There's a lot of stuff. It's all over the floor. I mean, it covers a quarter of this room. Before I do the thrifting, I have to start with some of the eBay things. And one was actually a trade for a commission, which I will show now. Drift said he had an AirTech 2000 and kept offering it to me. One day he said, do you want this green AirTech 2000? That's all I needed to know. It even works perfectly. Look at the pressure gauge works too. Shoots like crap, but it works. Then I got these two marshmallow blasters off eBay. You're not gonna believe how much I got these for. A dollar. Because nobody buys these. So I, I bid on an auction and won them for a dollar. I think I bid three dollars as my highest. Got it for a dollar. They actually shipped it. And no, I'm not gonna say how much the shipping made the total. Doesn't matter. They were a dollar. And there's nothing you can say to change that. I didn't notice this until after I was done recording. One of these marshmallow blaster boxes has a price sticker on the top corner from Bed Bath and Beyond for $24.99. Man, that sucks. I feel so bad if they actually did that because that means these were both 50. Oh man. Then I snagged a big blast for $40. Didn't even think about it because I needed the black one. All I need is the Atlantis one now. And somebody's got a new inbox one that they picked up for me that I will buy off of them. And then I will have all five. Yes. This thing's in good condition too. Really good condition. Works perfectly. I don't even want to pump it too much because this trigger feels like it's going to break as they do in all of them. And then last, oh man, I don't know if I can pick all these up. I got 14 18 round magazines for $30. Wiz sent me the link for these and I bought them probably quicker than that big blast to be honest. And this is great because I've got a, a mini war coming up and these will come in handy. Not that I needed this many of them. I think this is almost as many 18 round magazines as I have right now. So I just doubled my magazines. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do the thrifting yet. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So I got this, this box of pistols I bought off Uzified a little while back that I completely forgot about. So I'm going to be adding them to this in between everything. Let's just go through these real quick. First is a funny little Fortnite jolt, the rocket launcher. Yeah. It works great. It didn't when I got it. There was an M&M &M jammed so far down the barrel that it was bending the post to the left and, and the post is still bent actually. This Star Wars reflex, I don't know the name of. A side strike that I already modded and reinforced. A Blitzfire V2, I think. Oh yeah, it has a two on it. Yeah, nice. An X-Shot Meteor that I already took some locks out of. The thing I really wanted was this Sweet Revenge. This is one of Uzified's experiments. I, I kid you not, this was in mint condition when he got it, so I heard. I don't know if you can tell because the lighting is so yellow, it makes this look better than it is. But in person, it's golden. And somehow, it still works perfectly. Now for the thrifting. The first thing isn't even a blaster. These are kind of useful for modding, although this is kind of a, a knockoff version of the Max Liquidator. I've used these exact ones before and they still have a 100% air seal and robust plunger assemblies that don't seem like they want to break at all. Did I say I got that for a dollar? I think so. What is this called? A vintage Supermax 350? 
It was two dollars. It was broken very badly, but I've managed to fix it. And I, I don't know what these are supposed to fire. They keep popping my Buzzbee darts, and I don't know how it works. I don't know. A Tech Four for a dollar. A Big Shock. There was a dollar, probably because somebody hit it with a hammer at some point, and that's coming off. Works perfectly though. A Dual Force. For a dollar? Really? Oh. What? What is your problem? Oh, every screw in this is rusted. And there's water coming out of it. There's rust water pouring out of this blaster. And now it's stuck primed. Oh gosh. Something wrong with that. What did you do? A triad for a dollar. The white one. Funny, I never find the white ones. And the one time I did, I destroyed it. An X-Shot Reflex 6 for $3, I think. Two or three dollars. This one was from a while ago. I don't quite remember. Oh man, I completely forgot. I found some accessories. Three six-round magazines. These are the yellow ones that came with the long shot. They were all priced for a dollar each. My Goodwill is weird. They never price anything below a dollar. Doesn't matter what it is. I, I, I thought that was kind of decent. They're in really good shape. One has an R on it in Sharpie. Thank you, whoever's initial that is. The other accessory was this tactical light that, well, yeah, no, it doesn't work. I it, This was either a dollar or two dollars. I don't remember. I hope I didn't pay two dollars for this. Check the batteries. No, there's an energizer. Mom, I'm gonna blow somebody up with a bomb. <laughs> a stock shot? Is that what this is for $2? Oh, wow, that makes a nice sound. I thought this was way too interesting to pass on. It was $3. This is a Busby Thunderbolt. It used to be green and yellow. Someone painted this in the steampunk color scheme and did not do a half bad job. Look at this, you can even see the original colors. I thought that was just so interesting. I've never seen a painted blaster in a thrift store, let alone one done this well. The Busby Thunderbolt has a light system in it, so I'm gonna see if I can find the battery compartment. Oh yeah, it has a battery compartment. I wanna see if these lights work. Got some Amazon basics in here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, you can still see the lights through the paint. Oh, it doesn't have it on that side, just this side. <laughs> cool. I don't know what this is. I don't care what it is. All I know is it was $3. It has darts in it, and it probably works. Yep. Two recons. Uh, this one was, I think, five dollars or something like that. Three or five, I forgot. This one was two, and there's a reason for that, because it doesn't seem like it works at all. Yeah, no, unless. Oops. Yeah, no, there's something wrong. This one, I'm pretty sure, works. It's horrible, but it does work. It's actually a decent shape, too. A rival Hera for five dollars, I think. I took the price sticker off this a while ago. It has its magazine in it, and it doesn't turn on. It's heavy. I know there's batteries in here. Not energizer, not energizer. Okay. Rayovic. High energy. Really, high energy. I think they just mean it has the maximum output so the batteries drain the fastest. What they want you to think is it has high energy is in a large amount of power. And it will last longer. Nope. That's what Amazon Basics are for. And I'm pretty sure I just so happen to have six behind me. Oh, these are the old ones though. Oh man, I'm dropping everything. I hope these still have some power left in them. 
I think this has balls in it. Yup, it does! Balls! Oh, that's it. Oh, it's sun faded. I didn't even notice that. Not very noticeable. Arrival Atlas. I used to have this exact color and I sold it. So seeing one for two dollars, it's pretty good. And it has balls in it. Cool. Oh, it doesn't even. Why doesn't it jam? The magazine is upside down. Oh no. Freaking idiot. Uh, yeah, nope, that's not coming out. A regulator for $3 with no attachments whatsoever. It seems like it's in good shape. It has a 25 round drum in it too, so that made it worth it. I didn't take this out of anything. It was already in there, so I don't have to feel bad about that. Even the light comes on. It doesn't rev though. Check the batteries. Ooh. ooh. Oh. Ho, ho. Uchi! Alucara and batteries! They're not corroded. I'm gonna assume they're dead. But they also can't be, because this light comes on. A hyper fire for $5 with a flat black painted 18 round drum in it that is crammed with darts. Whoa. That is not gonna feed. This is even... I don't think it has good batteries in it. See if it actually. Yeah! Only had two darts in there, but still. Amazon Basics, once again, I've only ever seen them in one thing. It was a Nitron scope. Never seen them since. That was two years ago now, if you could believe that. Rayovic. And they're the classic ones, not the high energy scumbag batteries. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that word. A stampede for $5 in awesome shape. And it even has one of those half transparent orange 18 round magazines. Yes. Wow, it's huge. I can't even fit that on frame. It works perfectly. I wonder what batteries are causing it to do that. Please be Amazon Basics. Come on. I think the more I ask for them, the less likely I am to find them. Amazon Basics, Amazon Basics, Amazon Basics! Oh. What is... <clears throat> Mixing Energizer with Smart Living. That's not smart living, that's dumb living. An Infinis for $8. This thing looks like it was moderately used. It has, it's got the light. I think the loading system on it works. Oh, look at that, it turns red when you open it. Hey, put a dart in it, see if that functions. Mm, it's got good enough batteries for that to work. Ooh. What batteries are making you work? Okay. Duracell. Pretty boring. Get ready for some of these ones. A Scout for $2 with all sorts of problems. A Hornet for $2 with the scratch logo. Huh, maybe you can see it better on that side, it's painted. Perfect. A Titan for $2 with Sharpie on it. Oh, look at that. The pressure gauge even works. It did not come with this missile, by the way. They never do. You know what that means? I thrifted a whole Unity power system for $6. However, what I find interesting, even though these are all from the same store, none of these blasters seem like they came with the same unit. Because the Titan looks horrible and works great. The Scout looks great and works horrible. And the Hornet doesn't even have the same logo and it's definitely from a different time period. So that's kind of a mystery. Very interesting. The final thrift. The one I'm most excited for. A PAS. 
for $3 and I even kept the price sticker on there and will continue keeping that on there as a symbol of victory. You should have seen my face when I saw that stock poking out. That's not in great condition, they never are. It works perfect. And did not come with that ball, I put it in there. Never expected to find one, and I did. And this was on the day I thrifted almost everything in this video. I think that day I thrifted 11 blasters total and this was one of them. So that was a, that was a really good day. I even have a video of my, my reaction going out to the car. What?